If you ever worked with RGS Desktop, you probably know about domains, which are rules that describe the legal values of a field in your GeoDatabase. To find all the domains of a GeoDatabase, you can right-click on the GeoDatabase, go to Properties, and find all the domains within the Domains tab. However, it seems not as easy to find all the fields in a GeoDatabase that are using a domain. Today I'm going to introduce to you three tools that you can use to identify fields with domains in a GeoDatabase. The first tool is called X-Ray for Arc Catalog. It's hosted on rgs.com or ArcGIS Online. Click Download to download the add-in file. Double-click on the executable file to install that into your Arc Catalog. If you have our catalog open, make sure you close it and reopen it to see the new add-in. Next time you open our catalog, you will see a new window, X-Ray for GeoDatabases. If you ever close the window and want to bring it back, click Customize, Customize Mode, Commands, and search for X-Ray. Drag Show X-Ray window to your toolbar, which I already did. Click on the button to bring back the window. The function we want to use is under View, View Data Dictionary. Note is grayed out at this moment. To enable it, select the geodatabase you want to work with and export a XML workspace document. You can specify a location of your choice. And click Export GDB to XML workspace. If you already have XML exported, you can also click Open Selected XML Workspace Document to load it into your add-in. This will take a few moments. Once it's loaded, now you can click on View again and select Data, data Dictionary. It will launch an HTML file. It gives you all the datasets in the GeoDatabase the domains, relationship classes, topology, and so on. You can click into the domains, into one domain, and view the definition. You can also click into a feature class and find if there's any field has a domain, or if this feature class has subtypes, if any subtype has associated domains. This is the first tool. The second tool, called GeoDatabase Diagrammer, similarly can give you all the elements of a GeoDatabase, but in a more visualized way. Be aware this add-in also to Arc Catalog requires Microsoft Visio to generate and, and view the diagram file created by that in. Once you are on the page on GitHub, on GitHub, it has the latest version of that in. You can find the step-by-step -step instructions on how to deploy this add-in, how to install it, how to configure with Visio, how to add it to your toolbar, and how to use it. When you download it, make sure you click into the Releases tab and download the latest 10.5 10, 10 version. Note it is compiled for Arc, RGS for Desktop 10.5 and Visio 2016, but it does work with later versions. For example, I am actually using Desktop 10.7.1 and Visio 2017. You can download this zip file. Once you have downloaded it and deployed it as per the instructions, you can come back to Arc Catalog And you should have it already added to your toolbar. It's called Ge GeoDatabase Diagrammer. Initially, it would be grayed out. You have to select the GeoDatabase that you want to work with, then click on the button, choose a location you want to save the Visio Diagram file, and click Generate Diagram. Once you have the diagram generated, you can open it in Visio and again view all the data sets or all the fields within a data set that may have domains and if a feature class has subtypes any 
subtype has associated domains. If you scroll to the right, you will find all the domains with their definitions. Both these two add-ins, X-ray for Arc Catalog and GeoDatabase Diagramma, they can work for both Phi GeoDatabase and uh, SD GeoDatabases. The third method, however, only works for SD GeoDatabases. Esri provides many sample codes to work with your SD GeoDatabases. On this particular page, it gives examples on how to discover domain usage using SQL. It gives examples for SQL Server and Oracle. So if you use other relational databases, you would have to tailor the SQL to meet the requirements of your databases. For example, I have an enterprise geo databases in SQL Server. I can copy the SQL, go to SQL Server Management Studio to launch a new query, specify which database or geo database I want to use to identify fields with domains, and modify the domain name to be the one that I am interested in. Note there is an error on, in the example. For the section, find the names of the region items in the relationships. Uh, you have to modify the join to be on GDB items table UUID column equals to GDB item relationships origin ID column. Once you have prepared the SQL, now I can execute it. It returns to me the feature classes, the fields, and the subtypes, if any, that are actually using the domain. So that's the last method I want to introduce to you today. Note this demo by no means exhausts these tools' capabilities, but only focuses on how to leverage them to identify fields with domains. Please feel free to explore more in depth on how they could potentially improve your productivity when working with geo databases. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button or leave us comments for future video suggestions. To see more Azure Canada videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.